everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums and I am here to show you my design team package for Country Craft Creations. So this is my February package and I'm excited to show you all the fun stuff. Before I show you, I want to uh, tell you I also purchased some materials for myself aside from my design team package and I received two Wilbur reward stickers. And what they are is you save them up. There's a little booklet you can print from in the Facebook group. And for the more stickers you save, uh, the more you would get in a gift card. Um, I believe right now it's nine Wilbur reward stickers and you get a $15 gift certificate that you can spend at the shop. So the more you purchase, the more you earn, the more you earn, the more you can save. So anyhow, I wanted to tell you about that and let me get into my package. First of all, I, well, let me back up. This is, uh, by the way, artisan cardstock in the natural color. Um, during the winter, I had made this box and it's got an album in it and it's got the fairy lights on it, but I was going to, I am going to, make a new one because I never did a tutorial for the box and the album all together. So I'm going to do a tutorial on it. Instead of having fairy lights, I am going to make the front a shaker and I am going to use the fabulous Here Comes the Bride collection, which I had received in an earlier design team package and I'll put the link of that below so you can go through it. But this is just a beautiful, rich, wedding collection and I just had an idea for a project. So that is what is coming up. I wanted to tell you so you could see the method to my madness. Uh, again, I purchased some of the artisan linen cardstock in the natural color. This, by the way, is 87 pound weight. I don't like to take it out of the package because you want to keep it in the package to keep from fluctuations in humidity when you store it, but it's got a beautiful texture, creamy, I would call it creamy, not just in color, but in texture and feel and how it, um, how it works with you, how, how you work with it. So anyhow, there is that. I also, because I've been running low and every time on the video I say, oh, I need more score tape sheets. I got a couple of score tape sheets for those new to my channel. Uh, who are not members of Country Craft, uh, scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations, you may not be familiar with how we use this to cover mini albums. So I want to show you. So there is that. I got, so I'm not huge on shakers, but sometimes they're just so pretty. I got this uh, shaker embellishment package, and this is called Just Married. I probably shouldn't open it because you know what will happen. But I'm going to. Because I have to show you the gorgeous bits and pieces. So it's got some clear gems. It's got some hearts. It's got some um, brownish tint. I don't want to call it amber because there's because amber is getting a bad connotation lately. And then there's these bride and groom, which are fabulous. Aren't they gorgeous? And then there's these beautiful bits of gold, which is perfect for the paper. So now that I've taken it all out, oh, there's besides the gold or the heart shaped sort of sequins, there's heart shaped gems as well. So I think that is all beautiful. And I am going to now clean that all up and continue on with my design team package. Uh, to go along with the Here Comes the Bride, I do have black cardstock, but I wanted to get something a little more fancy. So this is the Glimmer cardstock. It's my colors cardstock in Black Bear. So you can probably see there's a sheen to it. It makes it look like it's a charcoal gray. Yeah but there's the back side, so you can tell it's black. The sheen just gives it a sparkle. 
And again, that's going to look nice with the Just Married collection. And also, I got some Irish cream, which is the Glimmer cardstock in sort of an off-white. My Colors cardstock in Irish cream. So that's got a glimmer to it. So hard to show you on the camera. It's one of those things you just have to see. I know this is boring, but it is heavyweight cardstock. Now, or heavyweight chipboard, I'm sorry. I think in the past I might have told you it's medium weight. But the chipboard that they sell, they sell two different weights in Country Craft Creations, the lightweight and the heavyweight. This is a good, solid uh, chipboard. And I'm, since I'm making my box, I want it to be solid. I mean, you could do it with the lightweight, but I don't want to. I, I want the box to pass the test of time. So I got some 12 by 12 chipboard sheets. I also, since I don't do shaker boxes, shaker boxes that often, I needed some foam strips. In one of our virtual retreats, we were given a little bit of this 3D foam strip, and this is a small, what do they call it? Well, it's 0.12 of an inch. You can see on the package it tells you, and it is indeed that small. So if you're doing shakers, this is good, and it'll go around circles as well, but this is the perfect adhesive to make shakers. And then to go along with that, I got some um, 0.39 inch, so it's more than a quarter of an inch. It's maybe about three eighths, I don't know, 0.39 of an inch. But so I got that because you can't make shakers without some adhesive foam. Uh, I have in my stash some acetate, and I realize after I'm doing projects, I mean, you can see it on here how it sort of warps. This is a really thin chipboard. So I wanted some of the acetate that's a little more firm. And so I put in a request for one of the clear sheets of acetate. So very handy to have. I advise you to get some stock up on it. Keep it in stock. I also wanted to get some really specialized ribbon. Um, this one is called the European Drop Pattern. And you can see it's real pretty. But let me show you what the pattern is on this weight chipboard. Isn't that pretty? So I thought that would be very unique for the wedding project that I'm going to do. So that's called European Drop Pattern. I also got magnetic discs. These are the basic gray magnetic discs. These are, this is the small size. You get 20 magnets in the small packets, which is um, a set of 10, 10 sets actually. And then Country Craft Creation sells the prettiest seam binding. And this looks so perfect right now, but just wait till I get a hold of it and scrunch it up or do something, but this is black. So again, that's for the wedding album. So if you just, the humidity in your hands and the heat can scrunch it up already, but I usually spritz it a little bit and that'll scrunch it if you like that look. I actually might be going with the straight and narrow look. And then the final thing for the design team package Ta da Spring Awakenings. So obviously a spring and Easter themed paper collection. This was made exclusive for Country Craft Creations. You can only purchase it at countrycraftcreations.com. Let me take you through it because I've seen it in videos, but I have not looked at it. So there is a cut apart, but you also get cut aparts already cut apart. I don't mind fussy cutting. Let's look at some of these. Look, roosters with a rabbit and an egg. A little lamb. Birds holding eggs. You know, such a vintage feel to these. 
I was in an antique store the other day against my will, just because that's not my thing. Um, and I saw some old vintage Valentine's Day cards, and this is the exact same feel. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. Just a, such beautiful artistry back in the day. Isn't that pretty? Well, I won't go through them all. Oh, and it says Spring Awakenings. Um, because you will see them when I make a project with them. But here is the sheet. So if you need extras, you can cut apart yourself. Um, some are very simple. You can just use circle punches. And then some are just a little more complex. But still, look, easy. Easy schmeasy. And then the back of that is this beautiful green. And as I look at that, I'm thinking I know what color I might use to go with that. There is also, uh, so those were the tags, and then here's the cut aparts. So there's some 3x4 cut aparts, 4x3 cut aparts, and a couple of um, strips. And again, you can see these beautiful vintage, look at that girl. Isn't she beautiful? Beautiful vintage motifs. So you get two of the cut aparts and tags, and there's the back side of that. And here is another one of the papers. So this is the A side. Look at this beautiful Easter basket with the rooster and the kids and the eggs and the chicks. Oh my goodness, it's got it all. And then here, that's pretty. Birds in a, a balcony window. And you can see the different texture I don't think my camera is doing it justice. It's got more of a, a forest green tint to it. It may show up as a little teal. No, it's not teal. It's more forest green. So just layer upon layer. And there's the back of that. So you get three of the uh, papers, three each of the papers, two each of the cut aparts and tags. Oh, look at this gorgeous colors and i love the bunny the bunny with the eggs and the flowers just so cute i could see how i'll use that paper oh and here's the back side which just has the uh, stripe on it and this by the way is the uh, bristol cotton vellum so when you think of vellum vellum is clear and see-through it's it's not but think of how smooth vellum is and that's what this paper is like. And I know it might show up as having somewhat of a sheen. I mean, it's not a gloss finish. It just is so smooth. It just looks like that. Now, this is pretty with all the ovals and the pictures in the ovals. And I love that blue color. I don't know what you would call that blue. It's not a robin's egg blue. But here it is on this with an oval. And the oval is made of pussy willow flowers. And then there are some white lilies on that. Again, look at the, the layers. You see the writing. You see the texture of the ornamentation. And then there's a bird up there. There's It's just layer upon layer. More Easter. Very pretty with um, Easter bunnies riding on sheep. Well, you don't see that too often but that's just very pretty. Look at the background colors. And then the background here is just the Easter eggs with the pattern. And that's done in sort of a golden tan. I would call it a golden tan. All right, and this is just some beautiful flowers, sort of a rosy color with a touch of um, yellow to it. And here are the chicks, this is must be the A side and that's the B side, but look at those chicks. Aren't they adorable? Very pretty. There's the chicks, one in the egg little basket and then one with grass and eggs in front of it. And then it's got color around the edge. You see it? It's darker around the edge than the middle and that helps create that depth that you see. More Easter bunnies. Uh, these this time they're sitting on eggs sort of sort of look to me like watership down bunnies but if you've not read the book you don't know what I'm talking about 
um, and, and trying to think of what that flower is. I guess it could be like a cabbage rose. So yeah, it's a rose. So that's pretty. And a pretty green color too. Same as this. I mean, same color tones as that sheet. And there's just the beautiful roses. If they were in a garden, you would call them heirloom roses. Very pretty. Again, lots of depth to the paper. All of Country Craft Creations paper. Well, not all. She has different feels to the paper. And this one has that vintage feel and has all that depth to it. Oh, look at the cute lamb. So there's lamb and um, morning glory. No, blue flowers. Whatever blue flowers you see in the springtime. And there's teeny little yellow flowers too. An adorable little lamb with a bow around her neck. Gotta be her. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That blue color is just striking, isn't it? And when I was looking at this, I was thinking, okay, I know what color palette to go with. And then I look at this and I'm like, oh, so many choices. And then here is the last page. And that is the A side. So it's these pretty flowers, and I can't identify these flowers. Somebody who's better at botany might know this. But next to the flowers, and the flowers are in like a egg basket. And then there's this adorable chick with a hat on, uh, with a tie around his neck, like, you know, an, uh, a knotted tie, and carrying a little egg. I've seen the flowers. Are they four o'clock? Or at my sister-in-law's house, she calls them 520 o'clock. Okay, and here is the back side of that last one. So this is from Spring Awakenings. Again, that is only available at Country Craft Creations. And now let me show you some of the other things I purchased on my own, uh, but was sent at the same time, which is fun. So here's, here's a bunch of fun things. So Simple Stories has a collection called Simple Vintage Weathered Garden. And I just love the flowers. Now, I don't have any of this paper, but I have paper that goes along with it. And you may know I make cards. And I'm always looking for some kind of ephemera to put on cards. So I just thought these would be a nice touch. All different sizes of these flowers. And it's uh, muted white and green on all different sizes. So I could see this going on like a sympathy card. Uh, same as the, the butterfly. Or maybe a grouping of some of these with flowers. I mean, you could put the flower and put it dimensional. So I thought that would be pretty for um, actually to use up some single sheets I have in my stash to make some cards. So there is that. I also purchased this Echo Park 6x6 paper pad called My Favorite Spring. It is not open, so let me open it for you. Again, I'm thinking of making cards. Look at this. If you wanted to make quick cards, you just grab these, cut it down, stick it on just a pretty card base, and there you are. Spring is sprung. Hello, spring. I must have flowers always in today. And those flowers are just so pretty. Keep doing your best. Happy spring. A gardening tools and implements. Oh, hooray for spring. Be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. That's a nice sentiment. Bless our nest. Spring is here. And then if you don't like those sentiments, the back side is very useful too. Same as this one. That's yellow with some dots. I love spring. I love spring flowers. Hooray for springtime. So some see a weed, others see a wish. Aw. Um, Aw, April showers. And then there's a nice 
plain solid if you need it. Keep growing, spring wishes. Oh, there's a pretty blue. You know I love that blue. Lots of sediments in the 6x6 six six pad. Did I get the card makers pad? I don't think so, but it's turning out that way, isn't it? Keep growing. Spring is in the air. And then this would be a pretty embellishment on a card. And then here's like a journaling card. But I, look at the back of this one, this uh, journal card. It's all those beautiful bees. We'll probably hit the beginning, yeah. So here we go back to the beginning. So it's the same as what we had before. But I do make a lot of cards using six by six paper pads. And I just thought the springy was cheerful and bright and pretty. And so I purchased that. I also purchased this cut apart sheet from my favorite Easter from Echo Park. So the other was my favorite spring. Here's my favorite Easter. And obviously the colors go along with each other. Is that the same flowers? Not a, uh, yeah, similar. That's got a blue background. That's a white background. I had wanted to make a little teeny three by four mini album, and I wanted something that had some cut aparts. And believe it or not, I didn't have any cut aparts that would be bright and cheerful. So I purchased this one sheet. So if you have sheets of cut aparts, uh, put them aside, and we'll be making something with that. I just want to use something small and cute. All right, so there's that, and here's the back side, which is adorable carrots. And to go along with that, and with the my favorite spring, I picked up the coordinating solids paper pack. So this has six double-sided papers, so you get two of it's probably these, this on the front, that on the back, and then same with that, and same with that. So you really get six of each color, basically, that will coordinate with this. And if I'm just looking for a little bit to maybe use a punch to make a sentiment on, then this coordinating paper will go along hand in hand with that. So that is that. And then, and then I sort of went crazy, but I have to stock up when I can. You may know, or you may be tired of hearing me say, I live in craft in my RV. We've been hanging out in Florida all winter, and uh, we're about to be on the move. And when we're on the move, we have a mail service that will send us our mail. It goes to one place. But when we're on the move, it um, can't catch up with us. So, um, so I want to order paper when I have the time. So I ordered several packs of Country Craft Creations Artisan Linen Cardstock. Well, the craft isn't linen, but let me show you what I got. So I got Antique Gray. Wait. And I also need to get my sheet to tell me what they're called because I don't always remember the name. All right, so there's Antique Gray. There is White. And then all of these are packs of 25 12 by 12 sheets. This is a winter gray which is a nice mid-tone gray. This is craft. So this is not linen. It's just craft. Um, they changed it, and I, I like the new one a little better. This is what is available now. And sometimes you don't want black. You don't want white as a base. You don't want to go with a color. So craft is a nice neutral base to make mini albums. Olive green. So let's see how this looks with some of our paper. See? I think olive green might be a great match to go with this. Look at that. Doesn't that look fabulous? I know this looks more brown, but it does have a green tint to it when it's not in the camera. So anyhow, I wanted to add olive green to my collection. And then some black, because you can never have too much black cardstock when you make mini albums. So those are my... Artisan cardstock purchases from Country Craft Creations. It's like a rainbow of neutrals, isn't it? Uh, I can't wait to start designing with this. So anyhow, 
I wanted to show you what I purchased from Country Craft Creations and what came in my design team package. And if you have any questions, go check in the description box. There are links for all of these purchases from the design team package. And then there's a link for all of the cardstock. You can go in and choose the color. You can buy it. Some is available in the 8.5 by 11. Most are available in the 12 by 12. Some you can purchase single sheets and um, most you can purchase with the packs. If it's out of stock, just wait a little bit. Or you can even message and they'll let you know, but uh, they usually keep, keep this cord stock in stock and I have not had a problem getting what I needed. So um, I'm just glad I stocked up now before I hit the road. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much. Have a fabulous day.